suspected member of the ma to this. This is Tony Charles, live Radio 9. Scenes of violence happening in our city, right? Well, we seem to have lost Tony Charles for the moment. Peter, of the Northern Drugs Unit, you were outlining police policy on drugs. Yes. Basically, the police arrest and charge all dealers. 
But ordinary users are simply cautioned and released and sent to us at the drugs unit for counselling. Even though they're carrying heroin? As long as it's a small amount of heroin for their own use, the police let them go. But heroin is illegal. Yeah, but what's the alternative? Dirty needles and disease. into our own hands, yeah? Oh. Any wonder, pushes junkies the lot. The police don't lift a finger. It's just there, it'll do, mate. All right. What happened? Fight in the pub. Are you all right? Order the robot ships to intercept and destroy Flash Gordon. He must not interfere with my plans to leave my... I'm allergic to violence. Come out, I'll cut some bruises. I will not tolerate people taking the law into their own hands. But people are very concerned. Of course they're concerned. Very Drugs are a menace. Concerned. Very concerned, yes. There's an even greater menace. AIDS. And AIDS is passed on to normal law-abiding people by users who share infected needles. So any course of action that makes people share needles is madness. This course of action, for instance. Madness? But understandable? No, not understandable. Because this kind of thing drives them underground. Frightened to show their faces. Frightened to ask for a clean needle. I could take you to a place in town. People coming and going morning, noon and night. They're exchanging their needles. Now, it doesn't take much imagination to realize that one or two of them might be carrying drugs. Where'd you get it? Swoop. Arrest them all. Charge them all. What well, then? They'd stop exchanging needles. They'd start sharing these. 
Niggas only, right? Look at cold. Sweet. Yeah. And curtains. Mm -hmm. And the ceiling's all good. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> you. I hated the police. Something we went through, part of our lives. I don't regret it and I wouldn't change it. Well, I would. Cause every time your dad would come around, he'd look at me as if to say, you know, is this the best you can do? He didn't think that. Oh, didn't he? What time do you finish tomorrow on the Titanic? Half eight. Get off! Give. Get off! You swim. Leave him alone, will you? Adult, look, it's a job, old man. Get off! Shut up! Get off! Listen, if it was up to me, mate, I'd have the lorry is cross for not. But it's not, I just work here, all right? Right, money. <laughs> oh, well, Paddy hasn't turned in. Yeah, so I've got to do a shift. I don't know. Uh, be late, though. All right, ta -ra. Uh, 
Tali dia. Alright then. Alright. Do you want to score? Two right. so she's filling her face bodybuilding. End of the summer, she just gets off. And they're all knackered. And then I've told the government. And she blames me for letting them die. They're supposed to die. Oh, man, they're annuals. They're supposed to die. So I tell you? And every bleeding year, she makes me stick a new life. Is anyone interested? Shall I tell you? He's brilliant. It's all crap, you know what I mean? What's this pure prom night? I'll tell you. Tight fisted, so stiff upper lip, okay, poker up the ass. Keep on flying and flying, and they've got to chase yeah, off them. So one by one, they're to dropping to dead behind yeah. it. Like dropping dead, dead mate. Kiss that. Room with a view. Stick it up it's your ass as far as you can throw it. Because Mean Streets, Taxi Driver, Raging Bull, until there's one left. One by one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mean Streets, Taxi Driver, Raging Bull, until there's one left. One out of thousands of bees. And that's the one she made to it. This is how it used to be when we had a bit of work, when the ships used to dock. Throw that crowd down there, voted the Get a buzz oh, out of it, planting things and watching them grow. But it's me, Nan. She thinks she's doing me the favour. She's doing me the favour by letting me work in her garden. But he wasn't like the hard worker. Oh, no, that stupid bastard was the first one to go. The one that won is the idle, crafty bastard. Cos he gave a bit to her, kept a bit for himself. You know, evolution, innit? A million years, there won't be any busy bees. They'll all be idle, crafty bastards. I'm telling you, mark my words, they'll all be idle, crafty bastards. I'll ask us them bees, I'm telling you. You're nicked, sunshine. This, didn't I? I got out of this shit hole. I don't belong here, mate. I've got a house, right? I've got a house and I've got a mortgage. And I'm all bleeding, sorry. I'm respectable. Have you got kids? Well, come on, answer the question, will you? Have you got kids? No. I have. And I'll tell you what you do with kids. You try to keep them safe. If the toddler's on this bleach about, you move the bleach. Anything that can do them harm, you move out the way. That's what we should be doing with heroin. 
in the name of God, we should be looking for the stuff and the needles and the paraphernalia and destroying it all. But what do you do? You set up shop. You're giving out needles, for God's sake. You're practically telling our kids to use the bloody the stuff. The needle exchange scheme has got nothing to do with the council. Can I finish? It's run by the health authority. Can I finish? In a minute. Do you want this city like Edinburgh? They couldn't swap needles there. They shared. And now there are hundreds and hundreds of addicts walking around HIV positive. That suits me down to the ground. I don't want AIDS to go away. I want it there all the time. I want a threat hanging over our kids' heads. I want the needles dirty, the smack infected. I want a deterrent. I want to be able to say to my kids, turn to heroin and you die. <laughs> to you, not his mates. I'll tell you again. We've no control over the drug problem in this city. Oh. It's a police matter. Listen, you're under police authority, aren't you? Do something there. You'll be needing our votes soon, love, so do something there. If you were queers or addicts, you'd rush your help, but we're not. We're just the grafters, the ones shoveling the shite. Yeah. But no more, right? Yeah. <laughs> They toss away the needles because, you know, there's plenty more where that came from. So get rid of the needles, get rid of the junkies, and you get rid of the drug. But for Christ's sake, do something! Hear them moving about, talking, swearing, laughing. And I don't go out then. They might be out there, and I'd have to come back into an empty flat. And they'd be in here. They've got into everywhere else. They'll be in here next. I will not throw young kids inside for carrying a ten-quid bag. We'll come down even harder on the dealers, though. But just the dealers, not the users. It'll give you something to tell your voters. Four weeks at eight quid a week. I say we just do it on the floor.
Do you want the pub? Mm. You sure? Yeah. Well, how many did you have? I don't know, about three or four. No, you didn't. Blow. What? Blow. <coughs> you haven't had one. You haven't even been near a pub. All right, where have I been then? Look, there's no one else. All right, I went down to your nose. So why didn't you just say? Because you don't like me going down to your nose, okay? Look, there's no one else, and there won't be. today. Following a massive police crackdown on drug dealers, the two-week-old bin strike is over. Investigators have still not ruled out arson as the cause of yesterday's fire in the city centre. And one of the city's oldest schools is set to opt out of local authority control. The details. Two-week-old bin strike is over. It's mad, isn't it? If you're feeling good, you want a toot. And if you're feeling bad, you want a toot. If you're not feeling good and you're not feeling bad, you want a toot because you're bored. You always want a toot. I'm not going to be taking a piss. Well, it used to always be me bird and the baby. The last trip across the river, be me bird and the baby. But it's not like that no more. The last trip across the river, all I think about is having a suit. Shouldn't be like that. I know. Do you know why it's like that? No. Yeah, you meet someone at night and you're into them. Like you get a buzz off it, don't you? But after a while, that buzz just wears off. I mean, you're still into them and that, like, you sort of still love them. But with gay, you always get the buzz. Even if it does wear off, just take a little bit more. Buzz is as good as ever. You can't do that with your beard, can you? You can't take a bit more of your beard. Charlie! Charlie! Tommy, tough. How are you fit? <laughs> <laughs> Am I wearing a funny nose or what? No one's got nothing. The busies have got it all. Listen, you're cracked. You've gone down a bleeding bed. Look, if you don't want to know, do one. Look, we're not into this. We do a little bit of chasing. That's all. A little bit if of chasing. If you haven't got the bottle, do one. I'm sick of you giving us grief. So you do one. <laughs> you have cracked. You've gone off your cake. What's up with this? The lorry is. You've gone right off your cake. Come on. No, no, <coughs> listen, I don't want to know. Get into something that you can't handle. All he is are getting into something that you just won't be able to handle. What happens to rule number one, eh? Hey, remember rule number one, eh? Hey, we've all said it. I've heard every one of you say it. Bollocks, don't shoot up rule number one. All right. <laughs> Don't get me, dickheads! Oh, can't speak, I've told you straight. You don't shoot up, dickhead! You shoot up, Ajax! Hey! You shoot up, Ajax! You dickhead! You know, unblock strains! Hey, strains in your veins! 
me, not me! It's not fun to breathe in. I've got a bit of sense. I've got a brain, do you know what I mean? I've got a brain! Blood brothers. All of us. Like I said, my advice to you is don't inject. If you must inject, we'll see that you do it safely and cleanly, right? Thank you. Use these. Just you and no one else. When you've used them, you bring them back. We'll give you new ones, right? Right. When you want to come off, we'll help you come off it. We can give you a script. Till then, no bullshit. I was on the stuff for 20 years, and I know every trick and sob story in the book, right? Right. Be careful. Cheers. to learn. Prohibition doesn't work. The Americans tried it with alcohol in the 20s. Result, consumption up 600%. They tried it with heroin. In 1983, 84, they spent $7,000 million and sent a navy up the Gulf of Mexico. Result, 5,000 new users every day. Even as I speak, they're doing the same with cocaine. I'll tell you why it doesn't work. You prohibit a drug, and you increase the price. You increase the price, and you increase the profit margin. Increase the profit margin, and the gangsters move in. The gangsters are in, so little wars are fought, and only the most ruthless, most efficient are going to survive. So if you want the most ruthless, most efficient, most widespread distribution of any drug, your first step is prohibition. Sharing, and I'm never sharing again, so if you want works, go and get them. Look, I'm entitled to a bevy, We just want to see you a bit more. Oh, come on, I'm out grabbing every bit of old time. Don't want you going. Out day and night. I'm going to you've got a gob on. If I came home with a flat week, your face would be tripping you. Look, it's working most of the time. That's even more reason to stay at home oh, when no, you're look, not. I've got to go out and grab. It's got nothing to do with money. Look, we just want to see you. I mean, when you do come home, that's just to eat, and then you're off with Jono again. I just want to know why. Look, I'll stay in tomorrow night, OK?
the search of that cell. Change your glasses. What? If you can't go, change your glasses. I'm going out, right? Right. I'm not going to make it easy for you. You want a row so you can storm out. But you're not getting one. I'll go to pictures next week, OK? Lost it. What do you mean you lost it? What I say, I lost it. Everybody likes a bit of fitting. I don't know what you mean. The secret is, don't get too greedy. You'll get greedy. You don't make love anymore. Sorry, plot. Supplying opiate to the masses. They know if the kids were sober, they'd be marching on down the street demanding change. It's a Tory plot. That was no crackdown. That was a PR job to get the bin men back to work. I want a real crackdown. And you start with those who are already infected. You do what you did with the lepers. You isolate them. It's all crap, safe sex. It's half one in the morning in your skins, and some mush comes along offering you 20 without a Johnny, so what do you do? There's a girl around the corner who'll do it for 15. So what you do? It's dinner money for the kids, so what you do? AIDS began in Africa. Black people, he breed and he breed. But the land can't support them all, so nature finds a way. Famine, drought. Well, that's not enough, because they go on breeding. So nature looks for a final solution. But I know it says that. 
I'll give them a disease that's passed on in a very active breed, and that'll stop them once and for all. And that's what AIDS is. Nature's way of killing the black population. It was nothing to do with whites, nothing to do with the West, but it got to us because of travel. A hundred years ago, we would have stayed in Africa, but we've got planes now, and that's the only reason it's here. But it's on our side. We only realise that it's on our side because it's attacking the dregs of humanity. Junkies and queers. It's cleansing us. It's cleansing the human race. Get out! Vigilantes aren't the answer. We live in a democratic society, and if we've got a problem, we should turn to our elected representatives and get them to do something about it. But we've done that, and our elected representatives haven't lifted a finger to help. So they're the ones, our elected representatives, they're the ones who are encouraging vigilante groups, and they've got the cheek to condemn them. Well, they won't be getting my vote. Put us down! It won't right if you got to burst into me outside! Dead. You do that once more, son, and you're dead. Hey, what kind of a man does this for a job, eh? Hey, what kind of a man does this? You want to pay your debts, lad? What's going on? What's he look like? Hey, leave it out of this. Look, we paid, we paid every look, week. What's he yeah. baby, will you? Hey, what right have you got to do this, eh? Hey, you stick it out of busy. I didn't mind that. I mean, no one's going to go with a career, are they? But these junkies, after the time, you can't tell. You don't know who's on the stuff. And you can screw one of them, you know what I mean? And they go on the bleeding game. They go on the game to pay for the stuff. I mean, that's... Look, I've even offered to pay a little bit extra. You see, you lads, you watch. As soon as we're back in Europe, the first away game, they'll all be over there around them knocking shops, screwing anything with a pulse. And they'll come back with more than a dose, you know what I mean? Come on, Anset, lock them all up. It don't mean me, you know what I mean? If I get it, I got it by accident, didn't I? Hey, I'll see it again, mate. Hey, be a different story then, do you know what I mean? When you haven't got your mate with you. Do you know what you are? You're a big, lousy, rotten, fat bastard! Don't call me big. Oh, you don't like the truth, do you, eh? How about someone tells you the truth? That's what the Tories are about. Money. One AIDS patient costs the NHS a fortune. So these drug agencies and all that, they pay for themselves. They're saving the government a fortune. Yeah, they believe in a free market economy, don't they? They believe in people being able to choose. So let's see them legalise this stuff. We've tried everything doing? else and it's failed, so let's see them legalise it. What are you doing? Property, okay? I'm gonna burn my property, so get out the way. No! Crime rates are going down. Why can't be seen? It's staring them in the face. The only answer is legalisation. Get out the way. 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 Started. Yeah, say the little dicky bed, right? And it's what ambition is to start at all calls. Go on, man. Jets up. Gives it all that one. So, what does he do all day? Stick his chest out and go down to his mate and say, hey, I started the dawn chorus, mate. No. Because the back of his mind is this. Well, who wrote me up then if it wasn't some of the little birds singing? And that says it all. Do you know what I mean? That says it all. Packed 
the stuff in. Did you share a needle? No. I don't believe you. Did you share a needle? Only a first. You bastard. See Paula. What can I see me wife? Does that mean no? Danny. Gave him a piece of my mind. That this committee has no confidence in the Chief Constable. All those in favour? Against? Carried. The drugs policy makes sense. It's politically inconvenient, but it makes sense. So you can pass all the motions you like. I won't budge an inch. What difference does it make? The judge will confiscate it anyway. Your money, your house, your furniture. Proceeds from drugs, you see. Do it all the time. Automatic now. So, uh, why don't we just slot this A and call it quits? What do you say? I say you're nicked, officer. I'm gonna have to get my head together, you know, and get back up, Paula. Yeah? So, can we stop this line of questioning? The people who pay his wages want to know why he is. The council has always the law. supported our policy on drugs. It's always supported the needle exchange scheme. But this woman's up for re-election. That's why she's suddenly changed her tune. That's a lie. That's why she's decided to play on the fears of ordinary people. It's a pity that she's drugs constable policy isn't elected. is far more complicated than she makes If he were elected, he might have to answer the people he serves. They want to know why prostitutes infected with AIDS are allowed to walk the streets. They want to know why dealers aren't arrested. Dealers are arrested. They want arrested. to know why smackheads are getting free needles. They're asking themselves this question. Aren't there enough people out there injecting themselves with AIDS and passing it on to ordinary decent folk? I'm Do we have sick to of this. I'm all? sick of this hypocrite. All right. What can we talk? Listen, you mean wife? That's my baby. I think you owe me five minutes. Do you know what I mean? Are you all right? Dad in disguise, eh? What? Come for a walk. Where? I don't know, anywhere. The park. It's gonna rain. Give it up. Oh, come on. Look, you come and see me when you have. But I need you around to help me. Have you tried to give it up before? Yeah. And? Well, look, do you want the truth or a load of bollocks? What do you think? Well, I tried to give it up when I was chasing, and I couldn't. There's no such thing as give it up. Give it up's crap. Give it up's bullshit. You just lay off it. I mean, okay, you lay off it for a week. Sound. 
But then your body sorted. And at first, it's something special. And you can throw away a week. I mean, a month's even better. A year's boss. You can get it hit, and you can throw away a year. That's power, do you know what I mean? And you can choose. Maybe that's what it is. For the first time in years, you can choose. And that's hard. Do you know what I mean? It's hard. Do you love us? You know we do. Because if you love us and you want us, you'll give it up for good. It's as simple as that. Rest is just bullshit. God save me from the oh so pure. They've never had to make a choice in their lives. So, uh, why don't we just slot this A and call it quits? What do you say? Fifteen years, full commendations, God knows how many arrests, and I never took so much as a hint. We had a book then, you know what I mean? We had a book to go by. Arrest, caution, charge, fill in a form. Drugs policies crystal clear. Crystal clear. Dealers only. I'm finished, right? What do you think? I think I'm finished. So I'll have me say. Thank you. I'll have me say. When was the last time you went on the streets? Dealers only. They're all bloody dealers. Hundred pound a day habit. How do they pay for that? They steal and they deal. I'd pick them up, bring them in. I'd get a bollocking for wasting time on a few smackheads. Next week I'd let them go. Kick them up the arse, stick an AIDS leaflet in their pocket. The modern approach, the enlightened approach. And then get a bollocking because they were dealers. No rhyme or bloody reason. So I learned. Hundred pound here or there made no difference. And the rest here or there, it made no difference. The smack still went round. So I took my few bob. Holiday for the wife and kids dropping the bloody ocean. And the money and the smack still went round. And no one gave a damn. It was just a game and you made your own rules. Enlightened. We called it bloody stupid. Question. How do you judge a people, a country, a society? Answer. You judge it by the way it responds when it's attacked. Now, we're being attacked right now by drugs and drug-related crimes. My job, and the job of policemen everywhere, is to fight this evil and to keep on fighting, even though we know we cannot win. Total, absolute victory can never be ours because the fight isn't fair. Drug dealers don't stick to the rules. They defy the law. They're ruthless in the pursuit of their own ends. Oh, yeah. Now, we, the police, must stick to the rules. Stick to the rule book. If the police are corrupt, then so is the law. If the law is corrupt, so is society. And if society is corrupt, what are we fighting for? Now, I have to tell you that we have been breaking the law. We've been breaking the law because the threat of drugs was so widespread, we felt powerless in the face of it. And we've been breaking the law with the full support of the Home Secretary. But Parliament has said that the possession of drugs is a criminal offence. Who are we to interpret the laws we see fit? Who is the Home Secretary and a few chief constables like me? 
to, to, to know better than a democratically elected parliament. If the law decrees that the possession of drugs is a criminal offence, it is our job, our duty, okay. to arrest and charge all those found in possession. And we will do so, urgently. And that is all. Twenty-five, that. What? Yeah, what about Charlie? Inside. Along to Welshman? Inside. Jeez. Inside. Anybody in there, please? That's what you do with shit, lad. You sacked. Crime isn't increasing, it's soaring. Now, I'd applaud the actions of the Chief Constable if the Chief Constable were paying, but he isn't. It's insurance companies like ours that are picking up the bill. Now, we could buy up every single grain of heroin in the city and give it out free to every user. And it still wouldn't cost us as much as we're paying out now in claims.
shock your leg up. <laughs> State agents, right? State agents. State agents. Here, state agents. Have more bloody estate agents. Phone them up, get it on the market. It's his house too, Dad. Right. Off the stuff for good, yeah. Over my dead body. Dad. I'm pregnant. Get rid of it. regarding your health at the present time? No. You're suicidal? No. Are you a drug addict? Are you dependent on any drug? Well, if I say yeah, will I get something? Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Get the out of Get off me, you shut it! Shut it! the test. I haven't got AIDS.
First of all, I have to thank the returning officer and all his staff for the excellent and efficient way they have performed their duties here today. Above all, I have to thank the voters of my ward who have returned me to office with an overwhelming majority. I promise I won't let you down. These are difficult times. Unemployment still grips this city by the throat. The old and the infirm are neglected. The young see no hope, no future, no prospects. Increasingly, they turn to drugs and crime. I promise, here and now, that the Labour Party will do its utmost to care for the old and the infirm. We'll yeah. do its utmost uh, to give I'm our kids to Danny. the future. And we'll do its utmost the busy's to stand out once and for all the evil of drugs and Whoa. crime. Turkey. It's porridge. Taxi. You're not wanted. You're not wanted, so do one, Look, right? Take my notice off. Will you well, get in? Look, I ordered you. You stay. Just get in, will you? Wait for us. You're not wanted. You're going nowhere. Will you give me that bloody Least cake? of all, back to him. Oh, you're going to keep me here, are you? I'll swing for him, the bloody junkie. Can't you can't the lucky keeper, for God's sake. I'll swing for him. I'll do it tomorrow then, or the day after, or the day after. being soft. I'm being hard. I'm being hard because Danny's weak. He can't give that stuff up because the stuff's all around him. Walk down the road, Dad, you can get what you want. He's inside now and he can't get his hands on the stuff. So he'll come out cured, whether he wants to or not. And that's his chance. That's his one and only chance. If he touches that stuff again, it's over. I love him, Dad. I still love him. Ch 
Change by deep hole, you know. Keep that shut. Right? Right. stuff we're pumping into us. It's been up some packy's ass, hasn't it? Bleach? Yeah. What do you want bleach for? Just clean things, boss. What sort of things? Oh, just things. Needles? I don't know what are you talking about, boss? No way. Bleach is a dangerous weapon. Let me share a needle with you. You share a needle with the old prison, you dickhead.
sexual acts are illegal unless they're done in private. Prisons aren't private. Are you saying to me that illegal acts are taking place in my prison under the noses of my officers? Of course not. Next. Beggars can't be choosers. Know what I mean? You've been sharing needles in prison as well? Do you want a blood test? Is she waiting for you? No. Would you like her to be? Yeah. Is anyone in here, Golly? AIDS? Yeah. I can't tell you that. Loads. Have the test. I'm positive. You said you wouldn't see him. You're going to see Daddy. Hey, let's go see Daddy. See ya. See ya. Write us a letter. you want. Would you? Yeah. It's over. Yeah. I'm finished. Yeah. I'll try and send you some money when I can. But it's over. Danny. 